Hi everyone, this is the solution for day 12. This is our top bridge connection for um, our screw jack um, and scissor jack. So this is where all the upper channels, all the bolts and everything line up to. So again, keeping the same components, putting the datum in a corner, so I'm going to use bottom left and outputting it on my construction reference. Okay, some hidden detail, some unspecified radii 4 mil. Okay, we've got to do and again do front top and side profile. So here we go into my drawing, okay, into my construction layer. And I'm going to draw from my X and Y of zero, 0 or I'm using an X line. Okay, and I'm going to do the offset a couple of string dimensions. So I'm going to do 40. Then I'm going to do uh, 80. Just using escape space, keeping these chain nice and quick. 160 from the front. Then we're doing 40 high. And that's that first component done. That one is the 22.5, which is to line up my screw holes or my bolt holes or just some holes. Okay, in the drawing, I'm not faffing, I'm just going to draw a straight rectangle around the outside. And the holes are 10 down to 10 down to radius 5 because it's obviously switched and that's that that part complete so next part I'm going to go back into the offset tool and I'm going to probably going to do it a bit more compact than what I did the first one maybe 25 mil away and uh, this again is going to be 50 wide 50 up like so and um, 25 to the right and 50 once again like so and again just going to put a rectangle around that one a rectangle around that one there's slightly too far, it's more in line with that one. And what I have to do is, is offset everything by um, 5, so offset 5, so only 5 for that one, 5 for the top one. So it gives me that point and that point, and I've got to do 5 on this one, 5 on the right one. And then 35 from the base, so, so like that. So I'm going to put another rectangle in, like that, and then I'm just going to trim one line, trim the second line, so that's that one gone. Come into the properties, make a hidden there. Hidden in the line type styles, load that one in, choose hidden on my list. Okay, now what I do is just run around the points. This is the points that are going to be hidden. Okay, now I could sort of do an offset. What I'm actually going to do is actually snap on and just saving the work. Like so, um, 25 to get the centre line, mirror, so mirror that component, mirror that component. So, razor is on no, LTS, 0.5 just to show it a lot more clearer. So, that's that section there. I can also bring the ones across, I could actually come back and do the hidden lines now. Sometimes it is easier just to line up the trace marks and then trim out the middle afterwards. So you just do a quick trim, trim the centre, centre, being complete. 
has to do is now to run around and do the fillets. So there's quite a lot of fillets now. So there's four on the top, two on the side, all the way around the other components. So fill, fillet, radius four, M for multiple. And uh, all I'm going to do is just run around, click on each line that's got a fillet, top two which have a fillet. We have then the all of them apart from the internal side on this component. So you do all of them. So that's now fine, which is cool. Now it's just coming in to do some dimensioning. So diameter, diameter ten, two times diameter ten. I could come in and I'll run some near forty one sixty point to point the eighty um, fifty You can then do the 35, uh, 5, and um, we've got the 45 in the middle, which then, then obviously then the 50 is up, is up, is up the top, so that's realistically. 160, 50, 50, 40, uh, 12 and a half. Yeah, like so, so that's all that dimensioned. So let me just be sort of clearing off. And then uh, hit and save button, output to PDF, and then that's another one all complete. So why don't you manage that? Let me know any problems or how well that you did in the comments, and then I'll respond. Hope you guys are enjoying it all so far.